Parts of New York City are gridlocked this week because of the annual meeting of the UN General Assembly. An elite group of NYPD motorcycle officers is guiding several war leaders to and from the United Nations. Only on CBS This Morning, we have an inside look at the team. Chris Van Cleve is outside Trump Tower in Manhattan, where President Trump is staying. Chris, good morning. Good morning. These officers are waiting to take President Trump when he leaves home over to the U.N. or wherever he needs to go today. There are more than 120 world leaders in town for the U.N. That means uh, more than 170 motorcades have to be done. It's a lot of work, and the whole goal here is to get the dignitaries where they need to go as quickly and as safely as possible. As they ride past, it looks so easy. Nearly two dozen motorcycles clearing the way for the president. But it's the culmination of a year's worth of planning and practice. President Trump is just one of 11 world leaders currently attending the UN General Assembly that get a continuous high-risk NYPD escort as long as they're in New York. Is this kind of like the motorcade Super Bowl through here? Exactly. Thomas Chan is the chief of transportation for the NYPD and also a former motorcycle officer. We call them the A-team. They are the best riders in Highway District. They're selected because of their skill. Long before they hop on a Harley and lead a motorcade, they have to make it through a grueling 20-day training course. Only about half pass. We got special access to their training facility and watched officers practice motorcades. A few ride ahead looking for potential threats and if needed block roads until the motorcade passes, then race to get back to the front. Others stay in a wedge formation in front of the president or dignitary. We have to be ready for, for everything. Sergeant Joseph Murphy is riding in the president's motorcade this week. During his 35-year career, he's worked on at least 75 presidential escorts. Like I tell the new students when they come into the motorcycle school, uh, when they came on this job, they get a ticket to every major event in the city, and when they're in the highway patrol, they get a front row seat. Now, this job is not without its risks. There have been several officers injured or even killed in motorcade accidents in recent years. This unit also escorts the vice president, even the pope, and any visiting heads of state that come outside of the U.N. General Assembly. When they're not doing that, these guys make up the highway patrol. Gail? All right. Thank you, Chris Van Cleve. Always good to have a front row seat to anything, I think. And when the motorcade was leaving the building today, guys, you have to admit, it's a very impressive sight. Indeed. When yeah. they roll down the street. It'd be nice to have that moving around New York. Wouldn't <laughs> I know, wouldn't it, though, Charlie? <laughs> we get from there to there. Lickety split. Like it. Thank you, Chris.